today's cup of coffee. The youngest kid and I were just pondering the uh, wh- why is underwear a thing. So you don't show <laughs> anything under your clothing. Oh, I could understand it back when people wore dresses and such. But now you gotta wonder. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. I ponder strange things. I do. That's just how my brain works. Speaking of strange things, we're going to ponder this. From Daily Star, this was September 11th of 2022, and was by Courtney Wilson, and the UK may soon have yet more problems. Like they need more problems. Do we really need to be listening to something about the UK again? Yes, because they have... These are some of the news trails that I go down. Experts have warned your, UK... Your, the, what, hmm, I can't even say what I'm... Experts have warned UK tenants that rats may soon be spotted in homes and gardens across the country. After a summer full of feasting and breeding, these colossal-sized rats will now be seeking shelter from the cold, and your home may be the perfect staycation for them. I'm fine with that. (laughs) The rats, who have been said to be the size of rabbits... I'm fine with that. That's if a they're large. Friendly, I'm fine that's with a that. large rat. Have caused gardening experts to warn UK tenants to protect their homes, as uh, the recent heat wave and abundance of food have made the perfect environment to breed quickly. According to AAA Wildlife Control, a female rat's litter is usually between eight to eighteen pups and have named the not-so-little critters the most destructive pests in the world. I'd say that roaches are probably... They're evil. Instinct bugs. <laughs> they're evil. Instinct it says, as the temperature declines, so do rats' food sources, meaning they will seek out homes and gardens for food and shelter. Why don't we ever talk about the infestation of stink bugs? That's true. Why, why can't we talk about those? We can. Why can't we just plan on eradicating <laughs> those? We can. And Chris Bonnet, the founder of Gardening Express, said, quote, is the time to protect your garden and home now. When rats get hungry, they will eat virtually anything, even dog poo. So you really <laughs> don't want these randy-infested ultra rats around. I don't know. Some of the imperative measures to, to uh, take to protect yourself in your home are laying preventative scents around your home and clearing any rubbish, debris, and garden waste that's accumulated during the summer, end quote. And then... He has some top tits, tits, top tips. Tips. It's because I've been watching Salty and he talks about, you know, blowing people's tits off all the time. That means you figuratively, need to stop watching. Figuratively. To proof your home. Rat proof your home. And it's, why do people have to be told these things? Such as check the garden for food sources. Let in the garden a food it's source. A food source. <laughs> Make sure your garden is clear of rubbish. Be wary of your bird tables. Is it that like a the bird rubbish? Table? It's the fucking vegetables you're growing, <laughs> you dumb fucks. Close any gaps that you can. Uh, protect your pet's food. Check your drains. This was interesting. I wouldn't have thought of this. Cut off water access. So, no. leaking faucets, all that stuff, you know, and protect your compost heap and keep an eye on your greenhouse. I don't know why people have to be told these things. Pay attention to the shit that you're growing. No shit. <laughs> Take care Buy of the cats. shit. You're d- Buy cats. I don't know. That would those rats eat the cat? Uh, if they're that large, that's a good that's a good question. And it's like Kid and I, when we were discussing this earlier, you know, bubonic plague. It wasn't the rats. It wasn't even the fleas on the rats. It was some kind of a parasite or something that lived in the gut of the fleas, and the fleas lived on the rats. And the reasons that the rats were so vast is because the superstition and idiocy of the people of that time had killed the damn cats. But guess what? They gave rats a bad name. Well, yeah. Yeah, it did. 
it's not like rats are the only animals that can carry disease and stuff like that. Raccoons. But you have, sure. They're fucking adorable. But damn it, they, they are one of the primary ones that carry rabies. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll let you talk because Kid actually is somewhat of an expert about rats. So, so I we'll let him. Export. I'm still very much a novice. But, and it's not just, not everybody sees rats as, you know, plague and pestilence. And from East Spring Estates, uh, or investments rather, they had a really interesting article about rats. And they said in the Chinese culture, the rat represents wisdom, wealth, and prosperity. Yeah. And it said to be... actually considered good luck. Yeah. It said to be the first animal that arrived when the Jade Emperor called the animals to appoint the zodiac signs. So the rat starts the 12-year cycle. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. I might mean, have to go and look at that now. Some of those legends. And it said in some Indian cultures that rats are worshipped and protected in temples like the Karmi Mata Temple and someplace in India. I'm not even going to try to <laughs> pronounce right now. And they are believed to be the reincarnation of goddess Karni Mata. And the 20-odd thousand rats that live there are indeed blessed as they are fed milk and grains daily. Yeah. And I've actually seen a video where they were doing that. Mm-hmm. And it kind of freaked you out, but the rats weren't hurting anybody. No. And so they, you know, but it was sort of unnerving to see that many animals that size. It wouldn't have mattered if it was rats or what it was. To see that many and, and just because they scurry. They do. They're fast. <clears throat> yeah. They're really fast. You won't you wouldn't think they're that fast, but the, oh yeah, they are. Oh yeah. And it says if you see rats in dreams, a positive happening is coming your way according to Chinese and Hindu interpretations of dreams. Now in other cultures and even as far as Native American, I was looking for that. It was both good and bad. Mm -hmm. They were talking about that, of course, rats stealing things and, you know, other stuff. And then some of them saw the rat as being very industrious and smart, Mm -hmm. able to, uh, you know, endure a lot of hardship. Yeah. They're actually incredibly intelligent little little creatures. Yeah. And there's another uh, link that I will put in the description box. It had some really cool stuff. And it was by Garth C. Clifford and was updated August the 17th of 2022 from a website called World World Birds. World Birds. But they're talking birds. about rats and its symbolism and meaning. And it says, you know, totem, spirits, and omens. And it's a really cool article. It's not, you know, maybe a two minute read. <clears throat> And it included the story, it reminded me of the legend, about the lion and the mouse. Do you remember that one? No. I don't remember whether that was an Aesop's fable or not. But um, lion, and he was about to step on a mouse, and the mouse pleaded with him. It's like, you know, don't kill me. Someday I may help you. And the lion's like, how could this little thing ever help me? But he did spare the, the uh, life of the mouse. And then later on, these hunters had captured the lion and were going to kill him. Mm. And so they had tied him up and stuff. And the mouse that he spared came and chewed through the ropes that were, you know, uh, holding the lion down. And so the lion was able to escape. Heck yeah. So don't. Moral of this story, don't squash things littler than you because you never know when they can help you. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead and share your knowledge about rats. Oh, they're incredibly intelligent. You can actually tra- te- teach them little tricks and such like that. And um, they get lonely. They get super lonely. And so, like, you have... When you adopt rats and start to take care of them, you cannot just have one rat unless it is one of those that is, like, it's aggressive towards any other right. rat. Um, but you have to get them in pairs. So they're very sociable yes, animals. Yes, very sociable. And think like puppies. They're like that. They're super friendly, super cuddly. Yeah, they scurry, but that's, you know, right. the rodents. Um, very hygienic, actually. Yes. That was what some of the things I had read was that they are very 
you know. Very clean. And they mm-hmm. get stressed out if they are not, you know, clean or they their space is not clean. Yeah. So. So it takes a lot of responsibility to keep them as a pet, doesn't it? Yeah, very much so. Um, but they love... When you get pet rats and they like you, oh, they will be all over you. They will cuddle you. They will just... Well, and I think... Do anything to be around you, to play, whatever. Well, and it's interesting how different creatures that people have developed this myth, <clears throat> and a lot of times it's totally erroneous. They're absolutely... About different creatures. Sure, there may be certain species or certain breeds or whatever that you have to stay away from. Well, like whatever. sewer rats. Yeah, you don't... Those you don't... like. But the male fancy rats, or the uh, fancy rats in general, which are just... It's a similar type, if not the exact same thing, just domesticated. Right. Well, you know, and, and it's just like the sewer rats, they are wild, they live in filth, you know, and, and of course you can see how they would be more prone to spread disease. Mm-hmm. But you can actually tame them. Well, I'd say so. You know, it just, I think for me, seeing the movie It's Willard, just a matter of showing them that you're not a threat to them. Right. I mean, the movie Willard, and... It's been weird. It's why I was telling you this rat thing has been going on for a day or two, including an X Files episode that I watched last night about mm-hmm. these rats, and the thought of rats coming up from a toilet. If you live in an urban environment, we don't have to worry about it. We have a septic tank. Plus, we have cats. Yeah. So, but they'll also like sort of like. They'll, they'll lick you. They'll, they will give you kisses. Okay. And so they will also, like, sort of... They won't bite you. Well, it's sort of like biting, but they will, like, lightly latch onto your finger. And, right. like, try to pull you into the cage sometimes. Trying to be okay. like, come in here with me. Okay. But this, but they're very, very loving animals. Nothing to be scared of whatsoever. It's right. like hamsters. Well, after in you... In a way. After you had the hamster, <clears throat> and it's like... I was, he was so delicate. Mm-hmm. That was what concerned me. It was I was always concerned that I would somehow hurt him. The thing is that these <clears throat> little creatures, the only reason, I mean, think they don't got much defense at all other than biting. Like that's no, they that's don't. it. Yeah. So if they bite you, that you got scared, right? They, or they got they were scared by something, or they thought you were food. That's true of most creatures. Mm-hmm. So it's just like. You know, yeah. I, I mean, humans are the ones you have to worry about attacking without reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we're more afraid of a rat than we are other people sometimes. And so I have rethought this because youngest kid has been discussing the possibility of getting pet rats for several years now. Mm-hmm. Because I, it's and, just something in me. I'm like, I, I need. I need a pair of rats. Well, and it's, uh, you know, he has edified me for a long time, and I have gotten over a lot of my, you know, hesitancy and fear of them. Because even with the hamster, you were sort of scared of it at first. Well, I was I was concerned that the cats would would kill it. I really was. But Hilo and Milo, they didn't. <laughs> no, they, they didn't were care. great. They loved him. Yeah, they were great with him. And he was just, he was a blessing. He was a joy. He was, and I, I loved him. I and, really did. But, you know, those, those little guys do not have a long lifespan. And we still miss him. We really do. The reason we had to put him, that we ha- he did not die, like, in, a ca- in, like, in his cage or whatever, just suddenly. No, I took very good care of him, because I'm like, he, like, the... They're actually incredibly high maintenance. The hamsters yeah. are high maintenance animals, um, and those little cages that you get at PetSmart or whatever, those ain't those. That ain't it. Even the cage, even the tank that I had was too small for him a little bit, but it was still rel- it was still big enough that he could move around there comfortably. Yeah, Kid had researched long before he ever got the animal. Mm-hmm. And if I had the money, I would get. A, I would have gotten a fifty-gallon tank. Right. Because, like, not only that, I would. He would have had enough. Um, 
bedding or whatever mm-hmm. to dig properly in there and all that. Um, hamps, uh, rats, you don't even have to get them bedding. You just have to get them like a two-story cage, okay. um, some fleece blankets, and a couple climbing toys and little So they're not as high maintenance? Such. Yeah, they're not, they're not that high of maintenance, but you still have to like, right. you know clean out their cage once in a while they're pee or well of course whatever. yeah you do basic stuff and, and for those that are new subscribers what happened with the hamster he was what two years old or maybe more somewhere around there yeah i think he was going on three or yeah. four which is had exceeded most of the lifespans of, of these little guys and he developed a tumor mm-hmm. and did. they're you know they they Research said that even had we been able to find someone who would operate on on him, more than likely the tumor would, would reoccur. Yeah, because and their their lifespan is not not that great. Yeah, and putting them into surgery, you're actually still at high risk of losing right. them. So, so rather than the little guy suffering because he had gotten to where the tumor had gotten so large he couldn't get on his little wheel or you know it had reduced the quality of life of him terribly Mm -hmm. and so kid made the decision to go ahead and have him euthanized rather than have him suffer or anything yeah and it was we crying at the vet the vet they'd be crying with us bawling my eyes out yeah still ball and ball my eyes out sometimes about him I I miss him well sure he you know he was my buddy he was your buddy so I, I don't understand these people that will get an animal and not take care of it properly. Or what's worse is if it dies, they just sort of fling it and they go on. I, I, mm-mm. No, that doesn't that does not sit right with me at all. No, it's like so, that ain't fair to the animal. The animal didn't do anything wrong. No, but if if and when he gets the fancy rats, we will definitely do. It's not going to be any time in the near future because. PetSmart, they are continuously sold out of them. Uh, yeah, and the times that, like, they're in stock, it's like they're in there for, like, a day and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, very popular. They and it's not very like, popular as pets. And around here, there's no breeders for them, so I right. can't, like, go through that and get one. Right. So. But as far as the sewer rats, stay away. If you've got... As far as... Clean Don't up your mix garden. The males with the females, you'll end up with with babies. Oh yeah, now they they do, and it didn't say how many litters that they could have per year. How many? Do you know how many litters Lots. that they could have? That's crazy. So that's like cats, except worse. Yeah, get cats, and they'll eat the children. Oh ew ew! Don't go there with that. <laughs> but just don't want that. If you all are over there to where it's prone to have these giant rats, if you have want, some sense. If you want to donate to the to the get get youngest kid rat fund, <laughs> do the rat fund. My yeah. Venmo is in my TikTok bio. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I just no, I don't want wild large rats anywhere near us. You do have to take them out of the cage once in a while and let them run around the house. That's okay as long as the cats are not here, because that would be tragic. Oh, Milo wouldn't care. No, but some of the other ones, though, it's like hmm, hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, especially like he who. And, oh yeah. And the little girl. Yeah, and and the frog. And the others. Oh god, the frog. The frog is a very efficient killer. Can jump. No, they go right in the cage. Ridiculously. They go right back in the cage when those are <laughs> when those are in the when they are in the house. Yeah, no. but if you are in in an area that is prone to rats especially you folks that are in urban environments Mm. just be cautious beware of these things and yeah make sure that you have your doors and windows and toilets and all that stuff sealed yeah oh yeah because that would be a horrific thing to go to the bathroom and (laughs) ew just don't (laughs) ew ew it's like, damn, there's a rat in my toilet. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that would be that would be horrible. That is truly the thing of nightmares. I would be like, ah, oh, baby. baby. No, no, you would not. You'd be like, flush, flush. So if you've had experiences. You can bathe them, too. 
can you bathe the rats? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it makes sense. If you've had experiences with paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, oddities. Yes. If you've had pet rats, send us an uh, email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And that plus the links to the articles will be in the description box. Know that you're loved. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all. Have a good, and we'll see you all on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.